Hello everybody, my name is Sina Farouk. I'm the Geotechnical Application Engineer for OASIS. As Nick mentioned, we're quite excited today to welcome you all to this webinar. Today is only a brief introduction. Uh, we do have a number of webinars to follow. So what we're going to cover today is why why this new program. It's It's been over 10 years since OASIS has developed a completely new geotechnical engineering program. Um, so the reasoning behind the new development and the advantages of, of SlopeFE's interface. Uh, also, uh, what is SlopeFE? Introducing the advanced pore pressure calculation feature. And finally, how it's being used. So as as was mentioned, actually, so, um, Oasis is the software house of Arup. We're very closely connected to Arup engineers, and Arup is currently using the software um, in in real life design. So I'm going to show how SlopeFE is already being used to provide enhanced slope stability analysis. And as I mentioned, we do have a few webinars to follow. Those webinars will go through um, setting up a slope FE analysis um, from scratch and also some more details about the pore pressure calculations. So watch this space and over the next month or two, you're going to get some more webinars. So we'll start off with why develop slope FE? Well, we have Oasis slope um, and it's heavily used and quite successful. So why a new slope stability analysis program? Well, slope FE, uh, well, Oasis slope has its advantages. It's quick to set up, and the limit equilibrium method of analysis is very simple. It's easy to grasp, and it ties in with lots of codes around the world. But how is water analyzed within the limit equilibrium method? I think it's worth looking into in more depth. So if we look at what Oasis slope does uh, with groundwater analysis, it either analyzes a phreatic surface, so with regards to the phreatic surface, you've got hydrostatic distribution or piezometric pressures, so the water is effectively static. Alternatively, within the materials, you can model RU values. So in this way, you could probably mimic suction. But neither allows you to model the movement of water effectively. So that's why Oasis Slope FE has been set up, because you've got the standard groundwater option where you've got a phreatic surface, but now you can model fixed head and fixed flow. So you can model steady state seepage. Uh, with regards to modeling material permeabilities, you can model consolidating materials, and you can apply groundwater and seepage boundaries. So this is over and above what Oasis Slope would do. And using Slope FE, you can effectively um, get results for pore pressures, seepage velocities, and hydraulic gradients. So it is much more powerful, um, especially if you're thinking about partially submerged um, submerged um, slopes or if alternatively you're looking at wells or the movement of groundwater. So now we're going to touch upon what is slope FE. So what analysis methods are in slope FE? Well, guessing from the name, you've got the limit equilibrium method um, from Oasis slope, but we've also got the finite element method. So the fi um, so if we look at what methods are in there, um, we've got the slope FE method, and the slope FE method allows for a very simple analysis. Um, there are numerous successful construction, um, numerous su successful construction cases, so it's heavily used, as I mentioned, with Oasis slope, um, and it's easy to set up. With the finite element method, it's much more comprehensive. You've got the constitutive equations, elastic pla elastoplastic theory. Um, in terms of the results, you get um, stress distribution, deformed shapes, you get movements coming out of there. You also are able to model different types of materials, uh, pore pressures, um, and get displacements and stresses out. However, the problem um, or the difficulty often with the finite element method is it's more involved, it requires more knowledge, um, it's arguably more difficult to set up on that process, on that basis and it also requires more checking. There is a lack of stability evaluation data as well. So by incorporating or, or using the finite element method with the limit equilibrium method, uh, you get a much simpler program which gives uh, quite good results. So by incorporating the FE engine, um, Slope FE runs a seepage analysis and that gets um, the groundwater distribution and that groundwater distribution is inputted into the slope stability analysis using the method of slices. So that's how 
slope FE works. In terms of usability, it has the features of Oasis slope. So it's easy to specify slope strata and materials, um, but you can also apply reinforcements easily. Um, you know, you can apply surface loads. It's got all those standard features of a limit equilibrium method, but you can also apply um, groundwater head, uh, groundwater flow and head boundary conditions for seepage analysis. So as you can see, it's, it's, it's been put together and it's quite comprehensive. There are also a number of new features um, which which the developers have worked on to make the program even more user friendly. So we've introduced with SlopeFE the ribbon interface. So as you can see, and when I go into the program, you'll see this more clearly. We've got this ribbon um, ribbon interface here where you can easily access the graphics and the slope graphics and you can set up your model quite quickly. Um, you've got a model wizard, um, so that will help you set up a model. Or if you are an existing Oasis Slope user, you can import existing slope files. There are also a range of graphical outputs for reports and standard tabular outputs, which you can then export into Excel and other programs. So as you can see, there is still the outputs and, and new outputs will be there, which I will demonstrate um, when we go into the program. In terms of existing functionality, I think this is worth mentioning. Um, uh, with the limit equilibrium method, um, and as Oasis Slope users may be aware, We've got um, slope reinforcement, um, and that can be applied within slope FE. You can apply ground anchors, soil nails, geotextiles, and rock bolts. Slip surfaces can be defined. So um, if you've got, a, say, if you're looking at a pre-existing failure, you can apply a single um, slip, a slip circle, or alternatively, you could look for the worst case slip circle using a grid. And you can also plot multiple slip circles and look at the details um, of the slip circle in the tab tabular output. You've got partial factors, so you can apply them according to code, or you can input new codes into there. The program will save it, or you can apply a factor of safety on disturbing loads, restoring loads, and shear strengths. You can also import DXF. So the reason for this would be that you could set up the strata very easily and more accurately. And when it comes to very um, complex slopes, um, then you know it's it's much more easy. Uh, it's much easier to set it up within DXF. So in terms of examples, as I mentioned, Oasis is the software house of Arab. So the program has already been distributed within Arab. And uh, we've got an example of where Arab engineers are already using the program to design a slope. It's an open cut slope in limestone. Uh, unfortunately, I can't give further details of the project because it is ongoing, but I could let you know that it's a steady state seepage analysis. And as you can see, it's, it's a significant cut. Um, you can see this is the, as you, as you can see, this is one picture, but we're going to go into the file now and have a look. So if I go in and Here you go. So um, this is a file sent to us from uh, the Arup engineer. And as you can see, you've got your um, factor of safety plotted here. You've got your um, circle plotted, um, as you would expect to. Um, but here you can also see that pore pressures have been plotted. Um, and you can, beyond that, you can actually plot um, piezometric head, uh, nodal flow, seepage velocity, and hydraulic gradient. So if I look at piezometric head, you can see we've got the piezometric head there. If alternatively you wanted to look, say, at more detail in the actual values in a specific area, you can click on the numbers and you can zoom into certain areas. So zoom in bit by bit. And as you can see, we can look at exact values around, say, for example, the base of the slope. So that gives us quite a lot of information um, about our slope stability failure and movement of groundwater as well. Um, and interestingly, um, for this uh, for this type of analysis, um, the engineers actually looked at how how this slope would perform if they put a retaining wall in. So as you can see here with the pore pressures, you can see the difference here in pressure. So it does give quite a bit of information that you wouldn't necessarily obtain using a standard limit equilibrium analysis. Okay, so um, 
if we go into the future of Slope FE, we've just developed a new program. So you might be wondering whether what else we're going to do with it. Well, developers already have plans to import, um, allow for AGS imports. So um, this will make setting up slopes much easier. Um, probably also setting up materials will be uh, much quicker. And this kind of ties in with BIM as well into the future. Um, we're also going to allow in time for a full FE analysis. So currently with slope FE, you can run a steady state seepage analysis or you could run a limit equilibrium analysis, um, just a pure limit equilibrium analysis. But in time, uh, with the same uh, with the same strata, you'll be able to run a full FE analysis and look at displacements and stresses too. So in terms of trialing slope, um, We've got the website um, and we've got tutorials. I'm just going to quickly dip into the website so that you can have a look at where you can download the trials. So we've got the 30 day download available now. Um, we've got information about the product. We've got the user manual. There's also the tutorials. So as you can see, we've got a tutorial manual and we've got some videos available as well. So there is a, a bit of information there for you. And there are also sample files once you do download the trial. So if I go into that now, here's one of the sample files provided as part of the new program. Um, and as you can see, there are tabular output options. Um, there's a reinforcement option here. As I mentioned, um, you can input slip surfaces as well. So there are a number of options here. I did also mention permeabilities which is new to slope FE over Oasis slope. So for, as you can see, there are a number of drainage, drainage conditions um, allowed for materials. So you can have consolidating convergence and well as well, as well as drained and undrained, as you would expect. In terms of specification, as you can see, in time we'll allow for finite element um, analysis here. Um, if I click on specification again, um, we've got um, the standard method of slices, but we've also got the factor of safety options and the soil nail factor of safeties. And if I did go to set up a new model, you'll see the wizard open up straight away. So that just quickly runs through and sets up a, a part of the model for you and allows you to do more with that. OK, so it just shows you quickly what you can do. And if you do download it, you can play around with that quite easily. OK, so in terms of what we've covered today, um, I've summarized the reason behind the new development and the advantages of this type of interface. I've also introduced the advanced pore pressure calculation feature, how it works um, and, and, and what you can expect from it. And also I've shown how slope FE is already being used to provide enhanced slope stability analysis. Um, so just goes for me to say, um, please do download a trial or look at our tutorial manual to find out more. Um, if you've got a specific project you want to discuss with us, um, please pop us an email or call us. Um, and our website has a wealth of information. Um, there will be a recording available of this webinar as well in, in a few days from now. So you can look at this again and share it amongst your colleagues. In terms of upcoming webinars, um, I did mention what we will be covering. Um, and in April, we'll be doing a webinar on starting a slope FE analysis from scratch. Um, and we'll also be doing a webinar on advanced groundwater calculation in slope FE. So thank you very much for listening.